Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps out my channel. And be sure to hit that bell notification so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. And today I have a highly requested video for you. It is, what is on my iPhone 10? So first, I do have a pop socket, which I can no longer live without. I love having it. It helps me with cramps in my hands. I type all day at work, so it sometimes I get a little bit of pain in my joints, and this helps me a lot. Also, if I am um, looking at my phone above my head, I am not going to be dropping it. So I definitely recommend having a pop socket if you don't have one. Um, and I like this one more than the ones that are rings, because when you have a ring, you can only put your finger in it in a certain direction and you can't actually change the direction of your hand unless the ring turns. And I've seen some that do, but most of them don't turn, so I like having this because I can look um, at my phone however I want to. If I'm watching something, I can have it in this type of landscape um, version or whatever, or position. And I have the Loot um, Mint Colored case that I love the color it's so beautiful I do find that this case does tend to get a little dirty for some reason I don't know it's the material on the side it's slightly different if you could see that there it changes this is like a hard plastic and then it's like a little bit of, of rubber so that does actually get a little dirty so I just wipe it and it's a good idea to wipe your phone anyway just because we gather so much bacteria on our phone because we're touching it all the time and then we touch our face and we touch door handles and it's just important to wipe your phone down all the time. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the apps that I have on my phone. Okay, so in the I have just two screens. I have the screen that has all of my my um, folders in it and then I have the screen that I use for just like the notifications and all of that. I like to have everything on one screen even though I have like small little icons everywhere because then I can just see everything that's here. So the first one is the social media and here I have Pinterest of course because what girl or guy does not like Pinterest? There's so many great ideas there. I love to look at recipes. And then I have YouTube, you know, of course, Snapchat, Tumblr, which I don't really use as much as I used to when I first started doing YouTube. Um, Twitter, which I would like to start getting more into because it seems to be one of the great platforms for um, social media. But I just have a hard time really just getting on there and and you know, figuring out what I'm going to say and when to say it and all of these things. So if you have any tips on Twitter, um, then leave those in the comments below. I also have Instagram, um, YouTube Studio, which is a app for creators. This is where I can look at comments that I get in my comment section or likes and stuff like that. And I can answer things quickly um, and look at my analytics. I have Facebook, which I don't really look at as much as I should. Of course I have Bitmoji and then on the other one here I have Messenger. So that is the social media. Then I have my photography stuff. I always get asked what is the app that I use for my thumbnails and that is Canva right here on the bottom. I really like this app. There's social media already like pre-put in there so you have Instagram, you have uh, Facebook, you have all of this stuff that you can put in and it's already done for you and usually what I do is I go all the way to the side and I do a custom um, custom measurements and these are all of the thumbnails that I've done uh, throughout these many many months of doing YouTube and over a year of doing YouTube so these are all the ones that I have and then they have templates in here also that's really cool you know you can look at them get ideas some of them are paid for some of them are not and I use everything that's free this is a free app and I absolutely love it I think it's fantastic it comes in handy a lot and then I also have in my photography folder I have my my photos of course which is my photos camera the TV here I have FaceTime which, which is not really photography but um, it's where I'm going to be on the screen so I just keep it in this folder I just feel like it makes sense there I have iMovie when I've put little clips and stuff on Instagram I always use iMovie on my phone 
or my iPad and that's usually how I do the small little clips instead of taking my camera out and having to do everything with my camera. And then I have this layout app and this is uh, pretty cool because with this app what you can do is you can create um, an, a little template and put multiple pictures in one, in one thing. And that is about it. I have this little clips um, app that's just... I haven't even used to be quite honest, I'm not really sure what it is, but I will have to look at that later because we're in the middle of a video at the moment. So that is one I have not used. Then I have my references, of course I love the weather app. I just use the one that comes with the um, iPhone and that one works perfectly for me. I have maps, I have Google Maps. I like to have both of them because in Google Maps you can save certain things um, and then I can go back and say, oh this is a restaurant that I wanted to try and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it now so we'll go there or whatever. Most of the time I do use the maps instead of the Google Maps but I like to have it just in case and then I have a Yelp because I like to look up new places and that way I look up the place and then I directly go to the maps and then I go there. Okay so then we have finance so I have my Chase bank app of course and then I don't know why iBooks is in here but this should probably be in a different section and then I have my wallet there and my Apple Pay stuff is in that so from there we're gonna move on to the health folder and in here I have the just the health uh, native Apple app and then I have Evolve which is what I use to put in my food and I, I Check my macros through there. I used to use my fitness pal, but I did find that there was a lot of stuff that was a little inaccurate, so I decided that you know I wanted to try a different one and I found that one, so I really like it. And then I also have interval timer. So I am a personal trainer and sometimes I will use this interval timer when I am doing um like hit or something or, or like a circuit or like timed exercise for a client and or myself and I really like that because it's just on my phone. It does the, each interval for me and it's really nice. And then I have, of course, my activities ring, my activity app, which is like the rings. And then I have all my rings, which is a little bit more complex than that is native to the iPhone. So it's a little bit different. And then also I work for Anytime Fitness. So I have the Anytime Fitness workout app that shows you a lot of workouts. You have to be a member to have it. And the Anytime app because you know, I am a member there. And I also have another food tracking um, app, and this is called Track. This is from the company, let me see, Nutri Nutrition IX Track. And it's really cool. I really like it. It's very interesting. It's got a lot of really accurate stuff. So if I feel like something is just not quite right in my other app, I will always go to this one just to check because it just seems to be really on... On, on it. And then I have of course here my email. I have the mail one that comes with it, which I do not use. I usually just stick to Gmail and I have I have to check that. Obviously I have to check my, my Gmail, but believe it or not, multiple days ago, maybe like a week ago, I had about 2,000 emails. I get a lot of emails all the time and I have three, e three Gmail accounts that go to this number. So <laughs> That's that. And then I have my shopping folder, which is very exciting. Of course, I have Amazon and Best Buy because those are my favorite places. I have Lululemon, Starbucks. This crazy coupon lady, it's called Crazy Coupon Lady. This is an app that is super awesome. All you have to do is just type in whatever you want. Like, let's say that you need, um, I don't know, deodorant. And you type in deodorant, the brand that you like, and it will tell you where and what store it's on sale. And then it'll say, hey, if it's on sale but if you use this coupon you get another 50 cents off or whatever and then you can add multiple coupons to that same thing so it's pretty cool it saves you a good amount of money and then I have of course the Target app because I love Target and I go there at least once a week and then the Cinemark app in case I wanted to purchase a movie before I go to watch the movie so that is a shopping one then we go into music and of course I have Pandora, the, the, the Pandora is the one that I use the most, and I have Shazam, which is what I use. Those are the two that I use. I don't really use the podcast. I don't really listen to podcasts. Um, I should. I really have wanted to get into them more. I would have to see where to find something to listen to, something that I would be interested in. And then I have the iTunes store and music. I do use iTunes 
for the music that is in my videos. So I do have that, but I don't actually use it on my phone. And then I have this extra folder, which is just stuff that I don't really use, like to find the phone, voice memos. I do do voice memos here and there, depending on when is necessary. I have my contacts, I have my home tips. I guess it's just like tips for using the phone and the compass, which also has a level in it, which has come in handy a couple times, but not super frequent. So then I have utilities and I do use the stuff in here pretty much every day. I have my calendar in there, which I do use um, the calendar that comes on the iPhone. I use the clock because I put alarm. I have a lot of random alarms and I do timers all day long. So I have so many set and I do use the majority of them. I have my settings in here. I have my app store and then I have this do checklist. So this is a this is an app that you do checklists in and you just um, you know say I have a list of this and I write all of the things that I need to do edit videos blah 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 and then I can check them off as I do them. So it's just a standard checklist instead of writing it out I just put it on there. Um, because I can, I'm able to dictate it onto there really quickly and I don't have to grab a pen and paper. And then I, of course, have my reminders there also, which I do use frequently, and the notes on here. So I have my notes where I write ideas for YouTube videos and I have, um, you know, like a lot, some passwords and all that stuff. So I'm not going to open that at the moment. But moving on, we have. Oh, and then I also have, I just realized that I had the other thing, I have the Apple Watch and it looks like there might be an update on there, which I'll have to do after this video. Then I have the education folder. Here I have all of the games and stuff that I like to play on my Apple Watch, actually. And I have Elevate, Four Letters, Trivia Crack. There's a dictionary app on here too, in case I need to look up a word. Peak. Memorando, and then I have iTunes U, which is iTunes University, I think, which I don't know what that really is, and I don't really use that, but I have that in there. And then Night Sky, this is the an, another app that I use on my Apple Watch where you can see the constellations when you point your Apple Watch or your phone to the sky, so that one's pretty cool. I have that out because it's just fun to kind of play with all the time. And then I have the productivity, and this is just like the Apple or not the Apple, the Microsoft Office stuff. This is just so that if I'm like working on something on my computer and then I need to, you know, have it with me, I can go and look it up on here and I could just open it up uh, because everything is linked together. And then I have just this random folder. I have the Pages app, which is where I use to keep a log and um, record of all of the workouts so the majority of the workouts of all my clients I have them listed by their name and then I have the workouts that we've done each time and then this keynote it just comes with Apple products I've used it a couple times on my iPad but not ever on my phone um, folders of course or files because I have certain files that I have on my computer or my iPad that I want to use on here and I could just go and look at them and this numbers app this is what I use actually for my budgeting I do a budget every single week I want to make sure that I am you know being smart with the money that I'm making so I'm making sure to put a certain amount in savings a certain amount for this a certain amount for that so that I can pay things ahead of time and that I can be on top of my bills and of course I have Dropbox also so those are just kind of random stuff. Then I have this, this View Ranger. This is an app that one of the subscribers asked me to review and I am going to do this. I just have not had a chance. So if you're watching, it's coming. I just have not been able to do it yet. I've been super busy. Um, and then right next to it, I have the Club Ready app. And this is the app that I use to log people in the gym. Like if I have a client and I need to log them in, I will log them in here and they can also log in somehow and see when they're scheduled or they'll usually text me but this is how I log them in and this is how I get credit for logging them in. So this is how I get paid with the gym um, is once I check them in then they're good. Okay so they get of course a notification you know because um, that way they know that I've checked them in. And I have on the very bottom the news app. So this pocket one right here, this is interesting. What it is, is it's an app where if I'm looking at something and I see a news article or, or some um, link and I want to read it and it sounds kind of interesting and I'm, I'm reading through it, but I have 
something to do and I need to just go back to it, what I do is I put it in the pocket and I can go back to it. So it's really cool. It like holds everything for you. Um, and uh, that way I am able to read everything that I want to read at a later time if I have to come back to it. And then of course I have the news app. This is the one that comes with Apple. It's really cool. It's got a lot of interesting things. And that is about it. On the bottom here, I have um, Safari and I have Google Chrome because Certain things work on Safari, certain things work on Google Chrome, and with YouTube, it works better with Google Chrome. So sometimes I have to edit things or I have to add um, cards, like the things that you see up here with the little eye, I have to add those and I'll use Google Chrome on my phone or on my MacBook to do so. And then of course I have my uh, phone caller here, like the phone, and then the messages and then that is everything that I absolutely need if I move over here then I have um, you know just a couple of different things like what's coming up next in my calendar my move activity the weather a couple of suggestions for um, the things that I want to click on or click on regularly the battery life of all of my stuff and then a couple of the top news things that I have on my news app so if I click on that then you know I'll be able to see what I've got. So this is just like a quick scan of some of the things that I have currently on um, my phone. But that is going to be it on the back here. This is my husband, John, and that's me right here on the side. And then when I lock my phone, I have my sister, me and my sister right there. And that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any other um, suggestions for videos, please leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one.